A fundamental belief for all Christians is that Jesus Christ was crucified, he died. Now according to um, your Quran, um, it, st it states in Surah 4, 157, it says that he did not die. He was crucified. In other words, it is... It is no, uh, hold on, let me finish the verse. In other the words, verse. there's a, a contradiction. They did not eyewitness the event or spoke to people that eyewitness the event. I don't care if you have millions. If none of them, if I go to a court of law and I said, listen, that guy did not kill him. But he said, the, the first thing the judge will ask me, did you see it? No. Have you spoke to someone that eyewitnessed it? No. What would, what would you think the judge would do with me? Would he take me seriously? He probably send me to the mantle house. Right, so really what the question is about, obviously, as Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ died, okay? And he died for us. As Muslims, according to um, one of your surahs, according to your Quran, it says that, I think it's Surah 4, 157, it says that uh, Muhammad is, re is getting a revelation from Allah saying that Jesus did not die, neither was he crucified. Actually, under Kamatana. Yeah. Uh, under yeah. Kamatana. Okay, yeah. So he's saying that Jesus <laughs> did not die. Now we were just having a conversation about what scholars think, or what their, you know, what their analysis or their assessment on um, in regards to this um, man called Jesus Christ. Okay, because there's a figure, okay, that lived in the first century, and majority of scholars, I mean, you can go to atheist scholars, you can go to um, Bart Ehrman, um, Do Dominic Cosman, um, you have various radical, skeptical scholars. Um, majority of scholars have come to that conclusion that Jesus did die. Not only, not only um, did the scholars come to that conclusion, also as Christians we have um, four attestations, four um, manuscripts, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Now these are separate eyewitness testimonies, so two of them who lived with Jesus, separate. separate eyewitness testimonies. That what it is, the crucifixion? No, eyewitness testimonies meaning that, of, of, you know of, when you go to court? Please, please. When you go to court? Of what? I just want to uh, use the clarify, the death, so, so I can the death, understand. The death of Jesus Christ. So they witnessed the crucifixion? No, they're writing about this man called Jesus Christ. All these people... He said eyewitness. I want to know what the eyewitness. Right, so let me explain to you. Okay, no there problem. are four people living in the first century, okay? Um, two of them are apostles, okay? And two of them are eyewitnesses. In other words, they had connection with the apostles, okay? So you have, so, so let me give you an example. So Matthew was an apostle, okay, who met Jesus. Let me just explain first. Matthew was an apostle who met Jesus, and so was John. Mark, um, um, and also you had Luke, who were also who were just eyewitnesses of the of the apostles who knew Jesus. Okay, and so not only do you have that in the Bible, not only do you have New Testament scholars from every walk of life, whether they're Christians, whether they're secular, whether they're atheists, they all believe that Jesus Christ died. Now, what we would like to know is what evidence do you have? from the first century, aside from the Quran, okay, that Jesus Christ did not die as Muhammad claimed. <coughs> first of all, Jesus. Amen. Amen! God bless. <laughs> You've mentioned certain scholars that are saying or affirming that Jesus did die. And there are certain other scholars as well, and historians, that differs. With, with the people or with the scholars that said that Jesus died. Can you name one? Can you name one? I didn't cut you, right? Okay, so you sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, as a Muslim, we follow the Quran. We believe it's a divine revelation from Allah, explaining a lot of misconceptions, including for us, the crucifixion of Jesus. Now, a lot of Christians claim that Jesus is God and he's, he's, um, he's got God's attributes and he's always been God. Now, when you say Jesus died on the cross, as a Muslim, I want to use my common sense as well. When you tell me, let's say for instance, uh, a Christian came, like, came to me and said, this is, you have to believe in Jesus because he was God. And but he died. The minute you say he died, my belief will go, listen, how can God die? Because we have to establish something. 
was Jesus all the way God which you guys claim he was God and human at the same time 100% 100% which gives you 200% I mean I don't know if I'm if it's, if it's just me or it does not make sense at all so when you say Jesus died that's a blasphemy against God because we know the attributes of God he's eternal all-knowing when you say he died that means God ceased to exist and that's a blasphemy for me I read the Quran and he said he did not die he's a prophet he's this and God we have the attributes of God and we have a lot of verses about God that tell us he's all the eternal there's nothing like into him he's all knowing do you understand? Yeah, go, go. I'm just, I'm just so knowing. Then I, you tell me God died on the cross. So that's for me a big contradiction. Right. Can I just one question? Okay. So the question is Muhammad is here. So your, your name is Muhammad. Uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. So problem Ibrahim. 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 Hey, I'm not objecting yeah. Muhammad if you call me <laughs> Muhammad. <no. laughs> right, the question that is on the table, the, the question we have to ask ourselves, okay? You have this figure of antiquity. His name is called Jesus, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, okay? Now, the question we are asking, because a fundamental belief, just like a fundamental belief of Islam, is that Muhammad is a prophet, is that Allah is God, um, and that the Quran is the book of the Word of God. A fundamental belief for all Christians is that Jesus Christ was crucified, he died. Now, according to um, your Quran, um, it, st it states in Surah 4, 157, it says that he did not die. He was crucified. In other words, it is, it is a, no, hold on, let me finish, finish, finish the one. verse. Finish In other words, the there's a, a contradiction, okay? Now, what we have to do is we have, or, or scholarly, uh, um, scholarly work involves using historical information, using um, manuscript evidence, which are dug out the ground, some found in caves, you've heard the Qumran cave, they find all these uh, manuscripts from the New Testament uh, um, relating to these figures or these people that live in antiquity. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they formulate, they put, put, bring together a case, okay, and if we use this information... And they hold, by hold the hold way, on. they've left out a lot of other... That's fine, that's yeah. fine. And so, the conclusion is for, for majority, or in fact, I can't even think of one New Testament scholar that states that Jesus Christ did not die, but, and, uh, but on the contrary, that they all have come to conclusion, these are scholarly then, yeah, that Jesus did die, okay, and he died through cruci crucifixion, okay? So what I'm asking you is this, is if you do not believe that Jesus Christ died, okay, the only source you seem to be using is the Quran, the Quran right. okay? So I'm saying to you, do you have any outside. historical evidence, any fact outside of the Quran, because again, the Quran is subjective to you, uh, down to your belief. But I'm saying, do you have any facts outside of the Quran that Jesus Christ did not die? Don't come to my area. So okay, Ibrahim, do you have any information? I'm going to look for, the, for any information, but you need to understand something as well. You say that in, you said that they eyewitness the crucifixion. Even your own, his own disciples did not I witnessed the crucifixion. Do it. Do, are you aware of that or not? I am aware that oh, okay. John, John. No, I'm not aware of what you just said. Yeah. I'm aware that John was there with Mary, who saw the crucifixion. Some, some, uh, some scholars, some scholars said. Some scholars Wait, said okay. they did not. But, but so you want, you want this, He wants to establish an event, right? That his own disciples that wrote about that event were not even there. Wait. It's like um, me coming to. Well, I didn't cut. Okay. You. It's like me coming to Hyde Park, and I witnessed this. I mean, I heard about two people debating here about a topic. Then I'm not. I don't, I don't even say that. No. I wrote about it. Do you understand the question, Ibrahim? I'm, I'm like understand, understand, yeah, please. Understand. I did not cut okay. you, right? I did not cut you at all. So don't let me speak how I want to okay. answer. Because I'm not sure where the eyewitnesses no, coming no. into this. But I, can, I mean, we, we do okay, have you know why? You know why I said eyewitness? Because yeah. in order for you to write an historical event, you have to be there. Or someone has to be there to tell you a story, to start your whole historical search up on. Am I wrong? Okay. All right. Do you want to respond to that? No, 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 me. Okay, well, I did not. I did no, not. You, you asked me. Am Listen, I right? You so have I to be patient. I, there's a lot of things I was. If you ask me a question, Listen, when, when you were when you were speaking, there's a lot of things I wanted to talk about, but I had to help to hold myself. When you, when you finish, I'll answer.
sorry. When you finish, I'll ask. Keep, keep thank speaking. You, thank you. No problem. So you're telling me because you're mentioning a lot of historical events and historians and it's like you're emphasizing that it's historically proven. I'm asking you, where is your eyewitness? If there is no eyewitness in the first place, you have nothing to stand on. Have you finished? Can I I'm finished. No right. problem. Okay. For now. So mm. according, I've just explained to you, we have four independent books written. Okay. Right. Four, indep four independent um, um, uh, 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 writings, okay? One was um, from Mark, one was from Luke. Sorry, Mark who? Okay, let me finish, Wait, let me finish, let me finish. I know. Because you're saying where's the evidence, finish. okay? Matthew, you said that, you said that I could finish here. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. John himself was standing, at, was, at the, was at the cross and Jesus himself said to John, Behold your son. I'm sorry, so Mary, behold your son. Speaking about John, okay? He was an eyewitness to Jesus Christ being crucified. It states that in the book of John, chapter 19, if you read on, okay? But the question, getting back to the question, okay? And I want you to answer this, I don't want you to move it somewhere else. Right? I'm not gonna, the question is this, okay? Is what evidence outside of the Quran do we have that Jesus Christ did not die apart from this prophet who comes along and says, Oh, I'm a prophet from Allah, I'm a prophet from God, and I've got this book called the Quran, it says Jesus didn't die. Um, nobody, no eyewitness test, no one can testify to Muhammad being a prophet. No, none of the, the Jews and the Christians rejected him. And so what I'm asking you is, <laughs> where does this, where does it come from okay. that Jesus Christ did not die? When we have, um, I would say, ample evidence mm -hmm. that Jesus did die. Where did you get that information from? Outside of the Quran, can you give us any evidence? No problem. You see, I've, as you noticed, I did not interrupt okay. you. Sure, it's fine. So, you're asking me a question to, to ask me for a proof that Jesus did not was was not crucified, right? I can throw 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 like throw the same question at you. You have not eyewitness. You, what is your proof of Jesus being crucified? That's one thing. The second thing you mentioned John. You said John was a disciple that witnessed eyewitness the event, and you have your own scholars differs about that, but. Who wrote John? John is the last book that was written and one was John written. So that the person who wrote John in the first place was not John the, disi the disciple. So you cannot take that as a proof. Second, who's Mark, Luke and Matthew? Some of them copied from each other. They did not eyewitness, no, they were the, his own disciples. The, your own book says according to this, this. So you have not evidence. You don't have evidence for the crucifixion. You're not trying to throw that at me. I'm the Muslim guy. I believe in the Quran. I use my common sense. When Allah tells me that Jesus is not, a, is not God, do you understand? And we have, a, we have a lot of proofs and we have the hadith to back Muhammad. Because the Quran is not Muhammad, it's not a book about Muhammad. So you want to know who I witnessed, like I I witnessed, not like you know, I witnessed the events and the miracles and the prophecies that Muhammad did and the way he lived his life. You have it in the hadith. We have thousands and thousands of hadiths and doing other things. That's a different subject because you've mentioned it. I had to say something about that. So I can throw, I can tell you the same thing. What is your proof that? Jesus was crucified. I'm going to give you my, I'm, going to, I'm going to explain to you because it seems like we're talking you're about eyewitness. Flip, you're trying to flip it back, but let me just explain. Now it's common here. sense, but you are, you are, you, you're not answering the question. The question I, I asked, the question. Let me tell you why you have it. I tell you, I've, you, I've mentioned this. Can, can, can I speak now? All right, no problem. All right. The question we've asked, and we've been asking for many, many years. You saw a camera, by the okay. way. Yes, so okay. Yes, of course. point. The question we ask Muslims, yeah. outside, independent of Muslims, of the of the Quran, yeah. okay? Uh, Outside of the Quran, where does it state that Jesus Christ, do we have any scholars, New Testament, New Testament scholars, any scholars who have, for example, who have studied the life of Jesus Christ, who, who, who have accumulated or um, brought together um, evidence, his manuscripts evidence, and been able to um, give us a story of Jesus. Do we have any scholars? Okay, one, one second, one second, let me finish. Do you have any scholars that have that state, today's scholars that state that Jesus Christ did not die. Do we have um, independent um, eye, eyewitnesses written down? Okay. Aside from the
look around, remember, independent, like for example, we'd have John Josephus or Pliny, Pliny, and we have several other, um, you know, uh, writers. Remember, Josephus um, lived in the first century, and so we have people who've written of this man. Yes, 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 he lived in the first century, one um, in the fifties all the way to, to the second. So we have. Was he an eyewitness? Josephus. Did Joseph you speak to an eyewitness? So, yes. That's my question yes. to you. So Josephus, well, hold on one second. To test, to, to see if he's liable, liable or not liable. Right. So Ibrahim, I'm simply saying huh? that we have independent sources outside of the Bible. It doesn't okay. matter. I, the point being is that we have evidences. It's okay. not an evidence. That's what? The, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So what would you? It's not an evidence. It's like me never witness an event or spoke to someone that I witness an event and go to the court and said, listen, no, nah, you know, it didn't happen or no, that the judge will ask me, did you see it? No. Have you spoke to someone that see it? No. They asked me to go, listen, you right. so sentenced okay. me to so prison, what you're doing, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Use your comments, okay, sense, Ibrahim, what you're doing is you're dismissing... I'm using my brain, that's wait, what wait, I'm let, doing. Let, let me respond to you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. What, you're Please, doing, man, you're, you what you're doing is aside, you're, yeah. you're dismissing the whole of history. Nothing. Let me tell you why you're dismissing the whole of history, right? Because according to, um, you know, according to all the manuscripts and evidence that we have about Jesus Christ and about the New Testament, we have about 6,000, in fact we have 24,000. From what century? Oh, don't cut me, don't cut me. No problem, yeah. Yeah, so we have 24,000 yeah. okay, manuscripts, okay, some in Latin, some in Aramaic, um, 6,000 in Greek, and so we That's have, cool. hold on, hold on, so we have, uh, so we have, um, uh, we've encompassed a huge amount of uh, manuscript evidence that speak about this man, Jesus Christ. We've also, again, I've explained to you. We've also got um, um, scholars who are studying today. You can go and meet them all over the place. You know, atheists, Christians that um, that have amassed this information, and they say that Jesus Christ. One thing they know for certain. In fact, they make it a certainty. One historical fact. That's what um, Bar Ehrman said. A historical it's fact. No, it's not that, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he says it's a historical fact, mm -hmm. but Jesus Christ most definitely died, and he was crucified. Now Muslims will say, no, he wasn't. But the only evidence you have, whatever evidence you, you call evidence, is the Quran, which can't be attested by anybody apart from a Muslim. And you're just believing, um, you know, with blind faith. You're finished. And so, no, I'm just not. Let me is finish. You're taking too long, brother. Well, I'm just simply saying that no, I've given you. Hold on. It's a discussion. I know, I know. But let me let me round up. What I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying we're giving you evidence. Okay. Now. It's not. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Well, well, well evidence no is subjective. Evidence is, you know, you can say you call it. Evidence. Just I mean, I could have you. Hold on. Yeah. I could have my hand right there. You could say no. That's the evidence. Your hand is there. So you, you could, you could dismiss my evidence. But the point is, is that we have given not only evidence in the New Testament, um, in, in the manuscripts we have, also from atheists and also from secular artists. Josephus was a um, was a, uh, a Jewish historian, um, a, a Jewish historian, a Greek historian. So what I'm simply saying is that you don't have any evidence. You just don't believe. make claims for me. Don't make claims. Well, well, I'm asking for evidence. Oh, yeah. Can you give me an evidence? Okay, no. Or will I have to ask you again? Can I talk now? Because you've been talking yes, for too long. Yes, give me the evidence. Okay, no. What you so called call evidence? This is this is your common sense, right? I've got books and books and books talking to, about an event that. None of them saw the event or spoke to someone that witnessed the event. This is your comment. This is not a proof. Do you understand? Common sense is like one plus one plus one. I know we might differ in that, but it's not a problem. It's, it's usually it's usually free. Do you understand? So you're telling me to believe in something that no one saw and the person that they're claiming for him to see the event are deferring about it. Subhanallah, it's about this is what the Quran tells me. It just confirms what the Quran tells me. He's saying, no, they, they did not kill him, no, they did, uh, they did not crucify him, no, they did kill him. And people that they say they crucify him are, in, are, are de debating whether it was him or not. So, this is exactly the situation we have now. The, you have not. Um, a, a, a fact, like when you say a fact that people witnessed the event, his disciples witnessed the event, I wrote about the event, and someone, you know, reliable wrote about the event, then I can say, yeah, you have a point. Yeah. No one has seen the event, no one spoke, the people that you're mentioning now, none of them saw the, spoke or saw the event or spoke 
to the people that witnessed the event and you're asking me to believe in that event. So I don't need no proof for that event. I don't need no proof for that event. I just need to use my common sense and analyze your so-called proof to know that there was no such thing. Okay, so I mean, this is kind Simple of, let's man. summarize a little bit because um, Ibrahim, I mean, what I've asked you for is a single shred of, let me finish, a single shred of evidence that Jesus Which you don't Christ have. did not, Which you don't have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I've asked you is a single shred of evidence that Jesus did not die. The only evidence you have that Jesus did not die is for some, for some um, random person called Muhammad who came out of nowhere. It's not random. No, Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. You're you disrespecting says, my prophet, It's not disrespectful. You are, you are disrespectful. Okay then, all right, okay, we'll, come, we'll, we'll go to the yeah, okay. Yeah. So, you have a person who's come along and said, in my book, okay, Jesus did not die, okay? And I'm saying to you, apart from Muhammad stating this, do you have anything external from the Quran that brings you that belief? I'll okay. give you, hold on, let me finish. Yeah, yeah, you take it too long. No, no, it has no, to be no, some, no. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not let, monologue, I'll let you speak, so let me finish. It's not a talk show, right? I've given you eyewitness evidence. You might not really like, like eyewitness evidence, but no, John, like John, hold on, hold on. John was an eyewitness evidence. I've given you, I, you know, Did John write about the sir, event? Sir, let me finish. That's my question to you. Did John write about that sir, event? Sir, can I finish? No problem. Right. Right. I'm giving eyewitness evidence from the people that were there when, yeah. he, when he was crucified. Okay, we have, um, we have, um, Don't take too long though, because me, I did not take that long. Then I'm just telling you, because it's not, because it's not a lecture. You need to make your point I, and pass I, on. I, That's what I was right, doing. You, you were speaking, but I never cut you. Yeah? So let me one minute. Right. Yeah. So, you're making it drag on. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is we have eyewitness testimonies. We've given you independent, independent testimonies from um, pa um, Tacitus. Uh, um, Josephus, Pliny, numerous people Did that I witness the event. I'm simply saying that. I'm asking you. Uh, uh, can I finish? No problem. Wait, you know, if. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling Let you. Let me finish no and then problem. you can come in, okay? Then you have New Testament scholars, okay? You can't, you, you fail to mention one New Testament scholar. I don't need to. That has stated. I don't need to. That's my point with the Muslims. Muslims I don't need to. Muslims that's, say that's my point. Nothing, it doesn't matter as long as it's in the Quran. That's all that matters. Listen, as listen. long as it's in the Quran, that's what can matters. I, can I have a and I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that we use historical information, we use historical data in order for us to determine what happened in the past. That's how any historian does, in, um, does um, their study and research. Okay. Okay. You cannot can simply just say, well, now, you know, please, hey, please. Um, wait, let me finish. Maybe you can't simply just say some guy. I said it, and yeah. so I'm going to simply uh, receive it. Okay. But that's what you're doing. Okay, let me talk now. Let me talk now. Based on Godwin's logic, it's like you're telling me, okay, this tree was here. There's a tree. The tree was there. Then you asked me for a proof that the tree wasn't there. I'm asking you. I'm asking you a proof. You have to establish a proof that the tree was there in the first place. Who saw the tree that the, that the tree was there? If someone seen the tree that was there, the person that wrote about the tree, he has to see it, or, or he has to speak to the person that saw the tree there in the first place. You don't have that. I don't need to prove that the tree was there. Do you understand? We Muslims, we believe in in what Muhammad. That's a different subject. But we believe in, in, in what Muhammad told us. We believe he was a prophet. We believe in what the makes divine message. Please let me finish. What makes it true? Let me finish. I'm telling you what makes it true. What makes it true? One second. What makes it true that there is no tree over there? And your proof, you have not proved that the tree wasn't there. Do you understand? I believe in the Quran. Let's summarize. Let's summarize. You, you should finish up. Finish up what you want to say. Let's just call it there because we're not going nowhere. No, but I'm summarizing to you. You, you you're trying to tell me that you have a proof that Jesus died. Your proof has, has nothing to stand on. You know why? Because he, he told me that the John was an eyewitness, but the thing is, John never wrote about that, about Jesus dying on the cross. We know John that wrote John is not John. Have you and one second, and the, the, the historians that you mentioned was not eyewitness, but spoke to eyewitnesses. So how can I, they're not, for me, they're not reliable. Well, based on Islam, the way we authenticate things in Islam, there's no chain of narration. So for us, it's da'if, it's not, 100% there's doubt about it we throw it away okay so this is because you want to summarize now yeah okay do you want to go first, or you want to go first? Go first. Okay. so I've listened to you I've been trying to be as, as patient as possible but 
it seems like if it's not, if Muhammad didn't say it, if, it's, if, 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 if the Quran doesn't say it, then you know forget about everything else, okay? And so, the question I've asked you, what evidence do you have, aside from the Quran, okay, that Muhammad, that Jesus Christ, that aside from Muhammad himself saying that Jesus didn't die, do you have any evidence outside? Now, of course, as a Christian, I can say, well, the Bible says this. Yeah, I, hold on. Yeah. I can, I can say, historians no, differ. I'm, I'm summarizing. I'm summarizing. <laughs> no problem. I can say that the, I believe that this particular event happened in history because the Bible said it. But then, of course, I have to be open for um, for um, skeptics to be able to critique that. To say, well, hold on. Do you know what? Why should I believe what you're saying just because your Bible says that? Of course, I have to be open to that, and I have to give some type of um, evidence to um, to you know in order for. I need to give some type of evidence. Aside from me, just, just my faith, my belief. Okay. And so what I've done is I've used independent sources. I'm talking about atheists. I'm talking about um, 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 Jewish, Jewish scholars who lived in the first century. I'm speaking about um, independent attestation, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. I'm speaking about every New Testament scholar that, that's living today. He couldn't find me one scholar that disagrees or says that Jesus Christ did not die. Every scholar um, unanimously say Jesus did die. The only evidence he has is that well Muhammad said so, so I just believe it because Muhammad claimed I said well because the Bible said it, oh well do you know what then, then it's true. No I have to use the same resources, the same manuscript, the same um, archaeological digs that of that historians use in order to prove my case. He hasn't been able to do that. He hasn't named me one scholar, he hasn't named me one indep I, um, independent um, 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 source aside from the Quran that Jesus Christ did not die. So my conclusion is Jesus did die, he rose again, and he is Lord and Savior, and you need so to repent him. Let him summarize. One second, one second. Let him summarize. Okay. First of all, he he wants me to prove something that he cannot prove for it to exist. His logic is all about Jesus dying on the cross and he's relying on um, his own scholars and people outside. Uh, yeah, one second. That they did not eyewitness the event or spoke to people that eyewitness the event. I don't care if you have millions. If none of them, if I go to a court of law and I said, listen, that guy did not kill him. But he said, the, the first thing the judge will ask me, did you see it? No. Have you spoke to someone that I witnessed it? No. What would, what would you think the judge would do with me? Would he take me seriously? He probably sent me to the mental house. He said, listen, you have a problem with your brain and you write me a letter and everything. So, you want me to give you a proof about something you cannot prove your own self. I'm a Muslim, I don't need to prove that. And look what Muhammad says. No, no, listen, listen, it's not about Muhammad saying it. It's not just about that. I'm a rational person. Give us anything else. I'm a rational person. Right, come down, right. come down, come down. I'm a rational person. So, you know that for me to take it, to believe in Jesus as my Lord and Savior and He died for my sin, the first question I should be asking myself as an, you know, a rational human being is who wrote about the event? Was there an eyewitness or they spoke to someone that witnessed the event? You have nothing. You have no, no, you, you, that's me, that's my question to you is, have you got any historian or any scholar that it's I witnessed or spoke now. to someone that I witnessed that event? So let's use our brain here and not just blind faith. Thank you. To see more videos like this, subscribe to Titans TV down below. Thanks. The greatest darky, the bike with shark teeth and hate malarkey. Who are you? The greatest heartbeat, ancient Egypt as a man. Did the Prophet Muhammad split the moon? Did he do it? No, with the permission of Sorry, did God split the moon? Yes. To, uh, for, uh, through him? To show people? Yes. Did Muhammad fly into heaven on a white horse? Yes, sir. Oh. I said you